guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do give us a like, a share, and a comment, and be sure to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we do more videos. Sometimes your grill and griddle area is further away from the house than is convenient to where you don't want to have to keep going back and forth from the house to your grill area every time you need to get something like a, paper, a roll of paper towels or uh, a spatula or a spoon or whatever and you need a caddy. I like to carry and have a lot of things with me so that when I need something it's there. I don't have to make that trip back. And as you can see back on this table I've got just all kinds of stuff that with all the tools you need uh, for a good grill or griddle experience and again not having to walk back and forth to the uh, to the to the house all the time. So I got to look at the Blackstone griddle caddy and I said you know that would sure be convenient if I could put all my stuff in the griddle caddy at one time and just carry that out there that, that I don't have to make a bunch of return trips. So let's take a look at it. It's a big wide open container uh, it's got this nice cut down here, so it makes it easy access to get into uh, to get into the stuff that you put inside. A hard plastic bottom that goes up that far, which is great. You can see inside how far that goes up, uh, which really makes it convenient for cleaning. If you have if you have any spilled liquids or anything in there, uh, it's going to be easy to clean. Got a holder on the side. I did order the the two. Blackstone, one for the oil and one for the water containers. I really like these, and uh, I'll tell you about those in a minute. And it's placed in the front to hold some spices. This looks like it's specifically sized, uh, and according to the picture, it's specifically sized to hold the Blackstone brand of spices, which I personally haven't tried yet. I hear they're really good. There's a lot of different ones, and uh, that would be very convenient for them. It also says that it has webbing all the way around, and it does. It's got some webbing right there. Uh, I guess that's mostly to give it strength in this direction and that direction. Uh, and, and I don't know really if they're going to be useful for carrying anything, but we'll see. So uh, let's take a look at some of what we might want to put inside here. Uh, basically what I like to carry out to the griddle area, which is pretty far away. So first, let's take this handle uh, and remove it. It comes off pretty easily right there and there, and right there and there. And then let's talk about what we might want to put in there, starting out with, oh, let's see. Some of the things I like to carry is uh, a few pans, aluminum foil covered pans, you can always use those. So let's put that right there. I like to have a little rack that nests in there. Cutting board is always handy to have, that'll nest right there. And then, of course, some paper plates, that's good to have. Let's put the, the water and the oil uh, containers right there. Uh, now's a good time to tell you, these are really cool because the, the the opening on this is such that if you go like that, it doesn't come out until you squeeze it, which is really kind of a cool, cool deal. So I like these both a lot. And of course, we gotta have some paper towels. We'll let that live right there. I like to carry some aluminum foil. We'll let that live right there. And then, uh, so for my paper towels, I use these. Uh, magnetic holders, everybody's seen these, so you can get them at Harbor Freight, they're not very expensive, and boy do they work really good. So whether you're working on a grill or a griddle, there'll be a, magnet, a place where you can magnetically hold your, your paper towels. Let's just put them in there like they go to save us a little space. Uh, yeah, so we can do that. I also like to carry a couple of pot holders. I'm just going to lay those right down on the bottom for the griddle. I like to carry these uh, windscreens. Everybody's seen these before. You put them on the edge and they, they block the wind. Uh, I currently have a 22 and it works real good for that. 
So let's put those, let's put those along the side, see if they'll stand up in there. Let's see. Of course, you gotta have, you gotta have your spatulas. Now this is kind of where I'm a little disappointed with the system in as much as I just got to lay them down at the bottom. And from this point on, I'm kind of laying everything down in the bottom. I'm taking my big spatula that I might need. Okay, that's just got to kind of lay down at the bottom somewhere. Well, we'll try to prop it up. Um, I like to carry a knife. Where am I going to put that? Uh, let's see, maybe, I don't know. Uh, Big sharp knife with no cover, but let's just put it back there for now because maybe that'll hold it up. And of course, a couple pairs of tongs, some long and some short. Well, I guess we can go like that and like that. How's that? Okay. Yeah, they'll stay right there. Again, I'll do these and like that. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That worked there, maybe it'll work over here too. Yeah, okay, so that webbing did work on that. It did, it did hold the tongs pretty good. I'm glad to see that. I like to carry a granny fork. And we'll just stick that in there. Another spatula for like if I'm working on a grill instead of a griddle, or even on a griddle if I just want to have this type of spatula. Um, let's lay that in the bottom there. Of course, your trusty. Scraper, we'll lay that at the bottom also. And then a spoon, gonna lay that in the bottom. A couple of basting brushes, gonna lay those in the bottom. Thermometer, uh, I mean a thermometer over here, uh, we'll lay that at the bottom. And then a uh, lighter, might need that. Let's see if that'll work in a piece of webbing on the side. Yeah, yeah, that goes on the side, pretty good. So now I also like to carry some extra aluminum foil pans, put that in there. And then we got all our spices and some salt. A couple of plastic bags for trash. Uh, we'll nest those down in the aluminum foil pan. And I guess the spices, we'll, well, we'll try to put them in the, in the spice holder. Let's do that. In there. Put some more right here. Okay. Again, I know that's designed for the Blackstone version, but uh, I've got to have some black pepper. We'll put that in the bottom also. A uh, big thing of salt. We'll put that in the bottom. Some plastic gloves. We'll throw that in the bottom. And then we'll look our look our uh, handle back up. Here we go. Are we missing anything? No, that's good. So we can pick that up, and yeah, man, we can carry that right out, right out to our grilling station. So I started looking for an alternative that might have a little more functionality, maybe not. Uh, but let's take a look at what I got. I'm going to put this back here for a minute. I got from Harbor Freight uh, just a regular tool bag. It's kind of neat because it's got individual pockets on both sides and on the ends that will carry stuff as well as inside. I'm not sure you can see this, but there's this webbing that's nice and wide. It's got a big spot for something wide to fit in there. It's got the solid handle uh, instead of the, the loose handle. Don't know if that's an advantage or a disadvantage, but it does. And, uh, and then it's also got, in the bottom, it's got this base that's hard cardboard or plastic, I think it's plastic, uh, that goes down. The sides flip up and they Velcro to the sides like that. So they flip up like that. And it's a real sturdy, Sturdy little carrying case. It's also got a nylon strap that goes from the outside. Put that on there. A carrying strap. 
goes like that. So you can carry this like this and have your hands free to carry other stuff. So I thought I'd see how this would work as a grill caddy. Let's take a look and see what we can fit in there and how it would, how it would work. So I'm going to empty the Blackstone grill caddy out and see how I would pack this one. I'll be back in just a second. All right, we got the Blackstone caddy emptied out. Let's see how we would fit some of or all of our equipment into this caddy and we'll just see if it's any better or not. So let's start out with our spatulas and it's got the nylon webbing in the side so that gives you a place for the spatula but I don't like that handle, that being in the way of the handle so I'm going to move them down maybe one on both sides, one on each side like that uh, or I don't mind if they stick out the other way. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Let's do both the same side there. Um, where are we going to put our knife? The cool thing here is this has got a metal strip where you would clip your, your tape roll, your tape measure onto there and the, behind this pocket is open. So we're going to see that this knife is right down there. It's secure, it's safe, it's firm. Uh, that's a good spot for that. Okay, I'm going to have to put the nylon strap on there later. Alright, now our tongs can go, let's just put those right there for now. Um, no, I'm going to put them right there. Okay, and we've got a smaller pair of tongs uh, that we'll put right beside that, so that's convenient. And then we've got our big, our big scraper, that can go right there. Uh, let's see, we've got a spoon that can go right there. Now, I'm beginning to like this because everything's kind of held up and out of the middle, uh, which is going to make it easier to grab and get to. And then, okay, a couple basting brushes that we need. Let's put those over here. Got to have a granny fork. Put that right there as well. Granny fork, that's what we always call them. Just a little two prong fork. My other kind of spatula can fit right. Uh, put that. And we'll put that on the other side. Right there. Okay. Now, our thermometer can go there. Let's put these wind guards on the side pocket, and that's also where I can put my wide spatula. That. Then let's take our magnetic paper towel holders, and they will go right there. Very convenient. Now, let's put our nesting stuff in there. So, we're going to set our pants on the edge. Our rack can nest right in there. Cutting board right there. And some paper plates. Good. Uh, what else we got? We got our, our tins. And I've got some uh, garbage bags that can go right here. Okay. And then our paper towels, fresh roll of paper towels, can go, let's put them right here. All right. Nope. Let's put them right here. That works better. Paper plates down there. Aluminum foil. Go right there. It's kind of held up a handle. We got to put our two bottles of oil. Well, I think I'm going to put those right here Whoops. and right here. Oh, they stand up nicely in there. And then we'll put our aluminum foil right there. All right. A couple of pot holders. One can go here. And one can go right here pockets on the edge. Uh, 
large bottle of salt in the middle there. What else we got? We got our gloves. They can go in a side pocket. Go in there. Okay. Now we've got a thing of black pepper, and the only one I've got is a square one, so uh, it can it can nest right in that aluminum foil pan. And for our spices, let's put our spices in these pockets. How's that sound? So I know you're curious, what does Dave bring for spices? Uh, onion powder, gotta have that. Garlic powder, of course, gotta have that. Some cumin, good on a lot of stuff. And some this? cayenne. side too. So we've got smoked paprika. Yeah, let's put that one right there. Okay, some paprika, some old bay. Always good. And I love this Paul Prudhomme stuff. They make a blackened uh, redfish blackened magic and they make a steak, blackened steak seasoning. This Paul Prudhomme stuff is just outstanding, delicious stuff. So those all fit there. So I've got spices on both sides, and I've got and I've got my thermometer. Oh, did I miss anything? No, I got it all. Okay. So let's put our strap on here, like so. Then on there, we'll get this on here. And I want to put that around. the round part is up. All right. So I can carry this just by its handle. You can see that inside of this, yes, there are a few things just laying in the bottom, but not as much. You don't have as much digging around to, to go through to get the stuff uh, for what you need. Sorry, move the table there. And it's very convenient. You can pick it up. But here's the other thing I like about it. Like I said before, you can take this and you can carry this and go the other way. You can put that right there. And you can carry this out to your grill area and to two open hands, okay? Uh, so guys, there you have it. A quick discussion about grill caddies, some of the things that I like to carry with me so that I'm fully prepared and don't have to make a lot of trips back and forth to the house or wherever, uh, the truck or wherever to get my stuff. Both items very versatile. Uh, this was obviously well thought out. And uh, for, for guys like me, they're a little more OCD and uh, gotta have a place for everything and everything in its place. Uh, I think this system uh, checks those boxes off a little better than this system. For other guys that just say, Dave, hey, you're carrying way too much stuff. Just put the stuff in here and go out and cook your meal. Uh, this is just right for those guys. One thing that I don't have in here is I don't have a steaming lid. And with this larger bucket size, you would have space for a steaming lid. They even show one on the label. So um, both have their pros and cons. This one's 50 bucks. This one's 20 bucks. There are other sizes of these and other brands. You can get them from Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Home Depot, online, uh, all different shapes, sizes. Uh, there's ones that roll around. I just wanted to kind of have a little discussion about what I do. So I hope it helps you, gives you some ideas. Uh, I'm never here to tell you that what I do is exactly right or wrong. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of what you might want to do. So until next time, I want to say thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, give us a like and a share and a comment. And hey, stick around. We'll just see what's next with Dave. Thanks.